Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Convoy with myself, Good for the Price. Uh, if you don't know what Convoy is already, uh, it's kind of like, if I could sum it up in as few words as possible, it's like 8-bit Mad Max. Uh, but it's an indie, uh, roguelike strategy game by Convoy Games, and I've just fallen in love with it. It is just so perfect. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. So I've played the game a little bit as you can see here uh, These are all vehicles that I haven't unlocked yet these black ones, um, but the uh, Colored ones here. I've unlocked and basically you're meant to play through the games several or the game several times and unlock stuff on the way uh, But just for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the basic units that you get so basically, you have an MCV, which uh, in Mad Max would be like that big semi-truck that they had to protect or whatever. Uh, and then you have two units, you start with two units, eventually you can get four. Uh, you buy extra trucks in the game from camps. Um, and basically you want to keep your MCV from dying. I haven't unlocked any of the extra ones here, uh, I just haven't played enough. I'm sure if I played more, uh, which I'm going to do for sure, because I love this game. Um, I'm sure I could unlock a lot of this stuff, but I feel like I would still have to play quite a bit uh, and I'm still not really good enough at this game because uh, I tried to play it on normal once and um, it's pretty hard. I'll say that, it's it's pretty hard. And you guys like right now might be like, mm, no, you just suck. Uh, but uh, I do, so we're just gonna play it on easy. And uh, we can name our units here. Uh, we are just going to find, uh, uh, Sad Turkey, Grease Spook, uh, Pink Bag, Mr. Creosole, and Fat Rat 5. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. Alright, so this is basically the story of the game, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read it here. After enduring an unexpected solar flare, your spaceship was forced to make an emergency landing on the planet Omec Prime due to critical damage to its primary systems. The captain has ordered you to traverse the planet in search of replacement parts. Obtaining these will allow the spaceship to continue its mission. Um... I don't know if we really need to, because there's a lot of text here, and I just really want to get right into the game, uh, and I know enough about Omec Prime. Uh, and here's the spaceship here. This is where we have to bring all of these, well, all, there's four of them, four parts, uh, back to the spaceship. But each of these missions actually consists of several little kind of like go-between missions. Uh, I'm not going to go for the sonic screws first. They're the closest. Uh, I'm going to, I think, uh, that's the milk bar. I think you can fight him actually. So as the sonic screws, that's the Torvac compression coil. Uh, oh, this is the this is the easy one. Uh, I think I, I if I remember correctly, this is the easy mission to start with. Uh, and these little yellow things, it's so it's kind of like FTL meets Mad Max as, as well. Um, these little things here are basically if you go on top of them, you're gonna encounter some type of mission or loot something, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I'm just gonna avoid that for now. I'm gonna head through the red territory ter uh, the red territory which is the raider territory and we're gonna run into uh, something here as you drive along the road you see several gruesome heads upon pikes it looks like someone is trying to portray a message our mission is too important to be intimidated onwards divert course will have nothing to do with this um so yeah you can kind of play this game you can definitely play this game any way you want but I feel like it's either uh, you want to be really aggressive and hopefully you'll get lucky and survive or uh, be really careful and conserve as much as you possibly can. Um, like, as we're driving around here, we actually have fuel. I'm going to try and avoid this. I'm going to go this way. I don't know if it helps if it actually, like, I had to divert my course or what. Um, or if that was just text. Uh, but we're gonna go through these canyons here. The white marked areas are really hard to see I can show you here They're really hard to get through you go really slow through them um, And basically it's like Pokemon if you go through the grass really slow You're gonna run into something you see a stranded raider further ahead his vehicle appears battered and broken He clambers up from the ground and waves his arms trying to get your attention um, A raider we're in raider territory 
Let's see what he has to say. You stop your convoy and head over. The raider looks severely dehydrated and begs for some water. After refreshing his throat, he stammers, My crew just left me here for dead. Y'all look pretty tough, though. If you help me fix my car here, I'll join you and shoot and kill whoever you want. Great! So we might just get a car here for a hundred... Oh, attempt to fix his vehicle. Mm, the vehicle is covered in blood and gore and trophies made out of human body parts. Should we try it or should we execute the raider for his crimes? You know what? I, I think we're going to try it. We're, we're going to try it. After repairing the raider's vehicle, he grins widely and grunts, Y'all can be sure I'll tally up the most kills for you guys. Uh, let's, he let's hope he won't be trouble later. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we got Psycho Killer uh, in our party now. Yeah, uh, so as I was saying, the white stuff, you go really slow through the darker gray areas. Uh, are lower and flatter areas that basically you can go quick through and roads and cities you go very fast through. Uh, and basically all of that is to use as little fuel as possible. You arrive at Shanty Sands, it looks like a small agricultural community. So we're going to head into town, you leave your convoy behind and head towards the town by foot. Uh, at the entrance to town you are stopped by a man who identifies himself as Steve. Welcome to Shanty, Stan Shanty Sands, stranger! Uh, Shanty Sands, stranger, jeez. That's a tongue twister if I've ever heard one. Uh, so we are going to go ahead, and I believe this is, yeah, the Torvac employee. Ah, uh, that guy, he arrived at Shanty Sands not too long ago, claiming he wanted to wanted a quiet place to live. He spends most of his days indoors, but he keeps out of trouble, so we don't mind. Uh, I can show you where he lives, but it's going to cost you. Well, I'm sorry, Steve, but uh, I have no choice but to threaten you. Uh, you draw your weapon and threaten Steve. He looks flustered and stammers. Whoa there, I wasn't looking for trouble. Just trying to earn a few bucks. You can find him over there. Just leave me alone. Uh, he points at a distant house. Um, thanks. Now get out of my face. You head over to the house of the former Torvac employee. Uh, and we're just going to knock on the door. You knock on the door for so quite some time, but to no avail. Uh, it looks like nobody is home. So we're going to enter, I guess. You enter the house to see the obvious signs of a struggle. The entire place has been ransacked. Nobody appears to be present right now. Well, I guess we should search the house? As you prepare to trash the house? I thought we were just searching the house. Alright, well, as you prepare to trash the house, I guess we're going to trash it while we search it. Screw it, we're going to toss some bookcases around. Um, you suddenly find yourself eye to eye with a blood-covered man. He seems to have several cybernetic implants. This is not good, guys. Uh, he looks surprised at your presence and makes a run for it. Chase him. The man seems to run unnaturally fast, causing you to lose ground. You chase him out of town, where you see him get in a Torvac vehicle and speed away. You contact your convoy to trace the signal of, of the vehicle and pick you up as soon as possible. That man surely knows more of a compression coil. Yeah, well, weren't we looking for a Torvac employee? I mean, I know there's, like, the compression coil, we need it, but what about this guy who's just gone now? Like, does anyone care about him? Or is he the, the bloody guy with the cybernetic implants? Uh, Raider vehicles are on the horizon. Your radio picks up the following chatter. Warm it up, everything you've got. Come on, you apes, you want to live forever? Um, fuck it. Sometimes you just got to say fuck it. Uh, all right. So, we can hit space to pause here. Uh, basically, the name of the game... Oh, this guy looks cool. Psycho Killer looks cool. Hopefully, he doesn't abandon us and join sides with these raiders. Because uh, that would surely suck. What does he have for guns? I can't even tell. I should have looked, actually. Um, Alright. So, the name of the game is Kill Shit. So, we're going to kill this shit. Uh, we're going to try and force stuff out uh, of, basically, from in front of us. And try and keep them on the sides. Because on the sides, you can actually hit mines, rocks, and just stuff that'll instantly kill you. Uh, so it's good to keep them out there, and your vehicle is kind of on the inside here where you can escape onto the road. Uh, and we do actually have a weapon on here, which we can stun. Maybe we'll stun this guy as he's coming in. Uh, oh, Alright, so we're going to want to move Psycho Killer in front here. We're going to try and get him. Oh, we're, we've got two guys going there. This guy is not shooting on anything. Hopefully we can... Actually, we're just going to put him there. Great. Uh, so we got this guy closed off. Uh, we got to stay back. And we want to keep him behind us. Great. So he's going to explode. Um, now we can target this guy. And get him 
out of the way as soon as possible. He's probably going to want to try and get out here, but there's something coming that way. Um, yep, he is about to get destroyed. We're going to stun him, and we're going to head back and uh, deal with this guy here. Uh, great. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good fight. Um, just going to kill this guy here. We haven't taken too much damage. Uh, yeah, great. And we got some awesome loot. Uh, open map, and we gotta go 100 kilometers this way.